What's up everybody? Hey, you've seen my other video, I, I showed you what these were and I had quite a few of them. And I'm going to show you how to, how to turn these into one of these. Wait a minute, I can't do that because I haven't even made them yet. Well, I'm going to make a, uh, a fire log out of one of these things, out of these. But I'm going to have to get me some buckets. And I'm going to try two different, two different ways of making them. Just to see if they're going to work. I don't know why, you know, it, I don't know. It's just an experiment. You can do it at home if you want. I don't care. If you've got a bunch of paper that you don't need. Newspapers, whatever you want to use. Um, so, let's get some buckets and get going. And I got my buckets. I filled them just a hair over uh, halfway. Now I'm going to do two different things. I have a mixer. Hold on, let me get it. It's a paint mixer. It's a paint mixer. I, I use it to mix thick glue. I'm going to, now one bucket, I'm going to put this, these tags in there, just plain. And then another bucket, I'm going to put those in there. But after a day, I'm going to mix one of them up with this to shred them. So when I take it out, I'm going to make, I'm going to roll some of those, the ones that I didn't shred into a log and see how they hold together in a log. And then these, I'm just going to, I'm going to strain them and uh, I'm going to make a strainer and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mold them into a log and see, uh, and let them dry and see how long they take out to dry. So let's get, let's get soaking. I figure I could just throw those in here. I don't want, I don't know if I should do them like, I don't know how many I'm going to put in here, but probably don't need that many. I wonder if I could just put the whole, Alright, that's good. Now let's just let these soak and see what we got tomorrow. Well, they've been soaking for 24 hours and uh, they look pretty, pretty fragile. You know, just really ready to just fall apart at any second if I, as soon as I touch them. Uh, this one is going to be just rolled up. This one is going to be mixed and I got my mixer. It should fall apart really easily. Yes, it does. Very easily. I'll show you. It's shredding pretty easily. Well, I'm making a mess. There's some on the... It's all clumped up around that. And a mess. Anyways, now what I need to do is get my... Uh, strainer and get a bucket and pour that into the strainer that way I can mold it into some logs so let's go get that all right I got my stuff ready I made this out of uh, some wire mesh that I had had here for a while I'm just gonna pour it into this and see what we get pour it in it'll drain through and uh, just scoop it out and put it on this stuff back here this is extra mesh I have I said I figure I can mold some logs, put them on there, let them dry. It's the bottom of a small pallet. We throw these things away all the time. Uh, so let's, let's pour it in. Now, some of it didn't shred very well. That's all right. That's probably going to drain for a while. And that's already full. Put it in this one. Ugh. Now what I can do is carefully pick out a couple of these pieces here that are they're they're in there like on the on its side. So bring you know let water water fall off on the darn thing and just roll it on up. Doesn't really have to be a big log, does it? I don't know. It's the first time I'm doing this stuff. You know what they always say? If you want to understand something, make one. And that rings true with a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that I've made, 
I've done. I had no idea how to make it. I just thought about making it. And once you start making it, you're like... Looks like a big uh, old cigar. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's that. Now, pull up out of here. Now, let me uh, that bucket as I wring some of it out. While I'm, well, I got a big chunk in there that's not really. I ain't gonna make these very big. No, I've seen um looks like a big white turd. That's gotta hurt coming out. Uh, I've seen videos where you can buy these uh things that compress it, like it make logs, you put them in there and you push these handles, they crisscross and they this is going to be the same thing I just made. Um, and it squeezes out. It makes bricks. And I was like, oh, that's a pretty neat invention. And this ain't going to work very well. I'm just going to make a couple of these big white turd looking things. And we'll just go with that. I should have left it in the bucket, huh? You think? You think? with the weight of the brick. So anyways, this is what I got. Let's uh, clean it up a little bit here and throw some stuff away like this and the cardboard and stuff. Okay, let's get going. I'm gonna give you an update on this. This I had, I've slid it right under there and I have a fan blowing on it for the past two days. These are almost dry. They're very light, almost dried out. These are still wet, and they're starting to come apart a little bit. They're still, like, really damp, you know, and I, they're, they're not holding together very well. I wonder if I would have mixed some glue with it and then soaked them in there. It would have held together a little bit better, but I don't know if the glue was flammable or whatever. Anyways, uh, this is, you know, kind of dry. It'll probably be burned, but these are still really wet, and those are just slightly damp. And it's been... Since I made these, it's been two days underneath that fan, so it's been like over a week. So basically doing it, this idea is not very, not very good to make logs unless you're going to make tons of them. And you can cycle through, like by the time these dry out, you'll have some more, you know, setting over here starting to dry. And then, you know, but it's not very a viable way of making logs or anything like that. Just big white turds, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna try them out, and I'm gonna burn them sometime when they totally dry out. So we'll see that how that goes. Well, I'm up here in the woods, and I found a spot where I can light my fire. It uh, somebody made a fire ring here, and uh, looks like they were building something there. And it's not too far from the road, but I got a lot of wood I could, uh, you know, use for to start the fire. It's not that bad. I don't know what what was going on up here, but uh, I was wandering around here. Uh, I, I've been coming back in these woods for like so many years, like almost 20 years, and I never really stumbled across this. I noticed it from over there, but I never really came over. I came over here a couple times. I've seen a, a flying squirrel, uh, you know, last year, and um, a lot of deer crossed back through here. So I figured this would be a good spot to try my fire out, and we'll see what... We'll see what we can get with these logs going. Uh, you know what? I changed my uh, idea. I don't want to do it up there. I'm going to do it right down in here. Here's like a big bowl that's kind of cleared out. Um, and it'll be down lower. So you really don't see anything from the road over there. Or even up front. Yeah, if you get the fire going good enough, you'll, you won't have any uh, uh, smoke. So 
I got lots of uh, stuff to start the fire with, and then I'll then I'll use the logs, put the logs on, and see what I get. And what I got is uh, one of these fire starters. All it's all it is is uh, one of them egg cartons, the cardboard egg cartons. You put some candle wax in there, some dryer lint, and this is a perfect uh, starter. It'll burn for like 15 minutes. And when you're making a fire, you always, you know, get your starter fluid or whatever you're going to start it with. Get stuff that's going to burn quick. You want your tinder, throw it on there. These are like little weeds that are, that are skinny. They burn fast. So you better have something a little bit bigger to put on there. Like I put some bark and then work your way up to some like little sticks and logs. And you just work your way up. So I'm going to light this up and get this going. It's, it's not going to take long at all. Well, I got it going now. Um, the problem with down here, there's not much breeze. Well, right now there is. They're starting to pick up, and it, the fire is able to burn a little bit better. So I'm going to put I'm going to put one of these on here, and it's totally light. We're going to set it right on top, and then see how long that takes to set up. To see how long it takes to catch fire. And you know what? If I put let me put this big one on the side right here and see how this one goes. That one's starting to catch already. That one's catching too, but I think it'll burn as it goes around it. Like I said before, this if you have like a lot of space and a lot of you know paper to shred and the, the means and stuff, you could burn this in your fireplace, but eh. I would probably, this is just an experiment that I have. It's, it's okay, it's not bad. I wonder how long it'll, it'll burn though. So, we're going to see. I'll throw a couple more on and we'll see how long it takes. It's, uh, I think it's going to take a little bit. They would have probably, be, probably been really good to uh, use as kindling. Like make them real small in the strips, like little sticks. It'd probably burn more than, because it rained pretty good yesterday. See, that, that's burning pretty good. And that one fell out. Yeah, well. This one's a very light one. I'm gonna throw this one on, set this one on top. This one I'm gonna put right here. And this one I'm gonna lay right there. Oh, that's almost immediately they catch. I mean, because it's loose paper on the outside that's rolled up. But it has to burn past that uh, to get it any burn pretty darn good. That one's still pretty solid. These, oh my gosh, this is just like flaking apart. And I think when you make fires. Only use, try to use uh, the stuff that's on the ground that's dead already because you don't want to be, you know, killing new trees for some little experiment you want to do or if you're, you know, if you, if you absolutely have to, you can cut a tree down, but it is going to burn as fast as brush or dried trees that you can find anywhere. Like up, up there where they had some guy was, you know, I don't know, someone was building something, it looks like it's torn down, but, um, uh, there's a lot of dead stuff up there. So, I don't know what happened there, so. Anyways, it looks like they burned pretty good. All the, yeah, these are still, the logs are still intact, they're still solid. I think these paper ones burned up faster. They're the, the ones that have the, the layers I rolled them up. I think they burn up a lot faster than uh, than than the solid ones. Look at that. That thing's still solid. 
That'll probably burn like a piece of charcoal. Well, it all burned out. I was curious to see if those, how they, there was pulling them apart. And I unraveled one that wasn't burnt in the inside. And it was still damp on the inside. And it's been, well, like I said, three weeks to a month to, uh, to let that dry out. But the other logs, they burned up real quick. So what you want to do now is just scatter it out as far as you can. Make sure you ain't going to get anything. The ground's really wet. Everything's still wet. Yeah. And uh, just wait for it to, to go out and, and uh, die down. So that's about it. It looked, it, it burned. The one logs looked really good. And the other ones weren't dry, like I said a bunch of times. See, it's still, they take a lot to, to burn these little buggers. So, wow. All right. That's about it. I says, uh, thanks for watching.